Hi everybody, hey John McDonald here, just sharing things I've learned and, and hopefully that uh, you guys can get some value out of, out of. And I'm warning you, today's topic, very important, extremely important, but it's a look in the mirror kind of a thing and maybe um, not very popular with, with some of you. So I'm warning you right now, okay? Here's the topic, shut off the news, okay? Turn it off. And I'm talking about all the different outlets. It's, it's, it's the TV stations, the 24-hour TV stations, whatever kind of news, whether general news or sports news or financial news. Um, it's the car radio, the news programs on the car radio. It's the, um, it's the commercial websites. And, yes, it's the Facebook feed and the Twitter feed. Any way that you're really kind of sort of consuming that, that uh, the news, right, I want you to turn it off. Here's why, okay? The first reason is because... Again, for, for people who are trying to achieve certain goals and, and need to focus, our mind is in this constant battle. Our mindset is in this constant battle with the fear. And one of the ways that fear manifests itself is resistance, right? So our mind is resisting doing the things that we, need to know, that we know that we need to do because of this underlying fear. And with today's technology and all these outlets for all this news, the reality is, is it's easy for us to just distract ourselves, right? It's easy to go be distracted with, hey, I got to go find out what's going on versus like focusing in on what it is we're trying to do, what it is we're trying, we need to do that day at that moment to get it done. And the reality is, is when we allow ourselves, when we allow ourselves, we allow our mind to sort of feed that resistance, then it's taking us further away, not moving us closer to what we need to get done and, and, and the goals that we're trying to achieve, okay? So that's the first reason. The second reason is because, really just because of the content itself. The purpose of the news platform, whatever platform that is, right, is it's a business, and so they're, they have a target audience, and they're trying to serve the information to that target audience as best they can because they're trying to gain viewers, gain uh, listeners, gain readers. And, and because when they do that, then that helps them sell advertising. And advertising, of course, is how they generate the revenue. And so these outlets, they're businesses, and that's great. That's absolutely perfect. It's what makes, it, makes this, uh, this country go round and so great. But you got to, first of all, as the consumer, you got to know that. You probably do on some level, of course, right? But it just so happens that the content that we seem to be drawn to is, by and large, it's negative, right? And so the content of these of, of the news is is not helping us stay positive. It's kind of pushing us into the negative. And again, in order to take that next step, we're, again, we're trying to raise our desire level, which raises our courage level above the level of fear. And in order to do that day by day, we have to feed the desire with the positive thoughts. We have, to, we have to know, we have to believe, we have to feed our belief that we can do what it is we're trying to do, and we have to keep our mind it, with the positive mindset rather than the negative mindset. And unfortunately, things like the news, a lot of times, it just pulls us into the negative, okay? So those are the two reasons. Now, turn it off, okay? There's probably you got to figure out what your world is. So your world is the circle of people and things and organizations that you really do need to be care that you really do need to care about and focus on in order to move yourself or your business or whatever it is you're trying to accomplish forward. And then there's the world, the rest of it. So you've got to turn everything off that is part of the world, right? Now, here's how you check yourself, okay? Don't be the first to know. Just don't be the first to know. Here's what I mean. If you're getting phone calls, text messages, some, some, some kind of message like, hey, I, did you hear? Or I can't believe that you didn't know about such and such because it's all over Facebook or it's all over the news channel. That's good. That means you're doing it right. Okay? Stay there. That's where you want to be. Because by and large, whatever that was, you didn't need to know. Okay? In our, in our office area here, we have couple common areas and there's TVs in those common areas and they're, they're constantly running and one is tuned to CNN the other is tuned to, uh, to 
the ESPN News, right? And there's this constant, like, first of all, there's the ticker, right? There's the ticker on the bottom that that uh, tells you a bunch of stuff that's whatever, that's happening, right? And then, like, it's, it's like every 10 minutes, there's the red bar that says breaking news. Is there really breaking news every 10 minutes that you need to know about? I don't think so, right? Let it go. And let me tell you, once you start to let all this stuff go, it's liberating. It's liberating for your mind. You're not constantly, like, worried and whatnot. So anyway, that's the message for today. It's a look in the mirror kind of a message. I uh, hope you got some value. Thanks. And, and, and also, hey, listen, if, you are, if you're looking for someone to sort of bounce ideas off of or you're looking for some accountability or maybe you're looking uh, for some ideas on, on, uh, on a business to get into or you're looking for a new business, hey, contact me. Go to my uh, website, johnmacconline.com, and I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to talk to you more about what, uh, how I might be able to help you, what your needs are. So uh, hit me up there, and also on this particular post, if you think I'm crazy, you think I'm nuts, and if you got reasons why, hey, we should still be all plugged in the news, I want to hear from you. So, so comment below, and, uh, and we'll make this a conversation. I love the conversation. So thanks. Have a great day. Talk to you later.